See, this is of the Lord. Y'all want to go so badly, but y'all ain't going nowhere. The most I want y'all right here. Do you look at him as your head? Yes. He's your head, right? You let him guide the house? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, no. Ah, you have to follow him. That's your head. He's the Lord of the house. I ain't going to let you slip with that. I seen you light up a cigarette. I seen you, I seen you like, I seen it. How long you think you're going to be around if you keep on smoking them cigarettes? She concerned about your health. She wants you to continue to stay around as long as possible. And guess what? Smoking them cigarettes is going to shorten your lifespan, bro. The Bible says the law is perfect. Brother uh, Pump 16, I hear you, I see you listening. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Who are you? Who am I? Yes, sir, I'm asking, who are you? Tell me who I am. I got you. Give me uh, Isaiah 1. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 1. It's okay to say that you don't know. All right? Because we, we didn't know at one point. What? It's a lot of our people right now still uh, uh, congregating in the churches, in and out of Islam, that don't know who they are according to the Bible. But guess what? That is prophesied in the scriptures that we're just going to discontinue from my heritage. Let me show you something. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, uh -huh. but Israel do not know. You hear that, sir? The scripture says Israel don't know who they are, uh, are according to the Bible. What? You hear that? Read it again. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel. But who? Israel. Sir, do you understand that Israel is not just a, a land, it's also a people. What? That's who you are according to the Bible. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Let me step on out. Step on. Yes, sir. All right, so look, before you hop back in the car, we established that Israel is not just a land, it's a people as well. You understand that as well, sis? Okay, so read this scripture one more time. Isaiah, we're going to, we're going to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3, all right? Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. It says the ox knoweth his owner. We know what an ox is, right? All right, read. And the ass his master's crib. And the ass his master's crib, meaning a donkey. So the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass know where he belongs, meaning where he uh, dwells at his house. All right, read on. But Israel. But Israel. Read. Do not know. Why you think it said that, sir? Okay. Hey. Sis, what about you? You don't know as well. Okay. So read that part again, but what? But Israel do not know. Now, remember I just asked him, who was he according to the Bible? Israel is a people also. Yes, sir. That's what we're getting into. Yes, sir. You're exactly right. So, remember when I just asked you who you are according to the Bible, you said, I don't know. You tell me. That's Bible prophecy right there. Because is the, uh, the, uh, the people over in Jew, uh, uh, Israel right now, are they the real Israelites? No. no. How do you know that? Give me Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. It says, I know thy works, tribulation, and poverty. Who on this earth? What race of people going through tribulation and poverty? Black folks, right? So it's not the, the so-called Jews that's over in Israel right now, right? Because what? guess what? They own BET. Right. They own MTV. Right. The things that they manipulate your mind and put on TV so you can be more destroyed. Right? right? So they not hurting. Read it from the top again. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. He said, even though everything that you're going through, black man, black woman, at the end of the day, you rich. Right. Why? Because the promises, the glory of God, everything pertains to us. Right. All right, but we're going to hop into why is it that, okay, if we got souls of people, okay, why are we getting shot down in the streets? Why are, the, why, uh, why are we the ones uh, uh, having to deal with minimum wages? We getting uh, evicted from our apartments or houses. We're going to get into that. Read on.
And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Now, how often do you hear a black man walking around saying, I'm a Jew? You don't, right? So it says, I know the blasphemy of them who is what? Which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews. Blasphemy means lies. God says, I know the lies of the men or the people that say they are Jews, but what? And or not. Read that, uh, read it again. Blasphemy. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. It says they are not. They, the, the, the pale faces over there in Israel right now, they are not God's chosen people. The 12 tribes chart right here. Come on, look. Can you see that? Okay. On this side, on the left side, you got what God calls us, right? Do y'all, are y'all familiar with the, uh, with the Bible? Do y'all read it? How often do you read black American in a Bible? Never, right? What about uh, Puerto Rican? What about uh, Haitian? Never. So guess what? Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you what happened. Why is it that we not no longer call uh, Judah or Benjamin or Reuben? The things on this side is what God calls us. That's what you will read in the Bible. So watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. So, real quick, Deuteronomy, hold what you got, Deuteronomy 1 and 1, because we in, we in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 right now. I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let y'all see who is God talking to. All right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So guess what? Moses was only dealing with the Israelites in the wilderness. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. It says black man, black woman, Hispanic woman, Hispanic man. You're going to become an astonishment. What's an astonishment? A what? Like a like a wow, like you you shocked. Are we not an astonishment on the earth? We are we are we're an astonishment, right? Why? Because guess what? The men, guess what? We lay down, have babies, and then what we do? Leave the woman and the kids. That's an astonishment because the other nations don't do that. We the ones that sag our parents all the way below our uh, you know. We 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 don't our women. They the ones that hmm. They what they put blonde in their hair. When they don't grow that naturally, who grows that naturally? The so-called white woman, right? That's an astonishment act that we have. Read on. A proverb. A what? A proverb. And a byword. And a byword. A byword. So what we get? What we get into? When I ask you, why don't we read about uh, American black or Hispanic? That's what we're so supposedly called, right? But guess what? We don't read that in the Bible. So guess what? That's a curse poured upon our people. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. It said what? And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Have we not discontinued from our heritage? You got to understand everything that comes with a heritage. It comes with music. Laws, the way that you dress, we no longer have a heritage. Why? How, how do how do we know? Because every black man, every black woman, we dip and dab into Christianity. We dip and dab into Islam. That was never the case with the Israelites. Religion is something newly made up. The laws of God has been since be the beginning. You understand that? That's all God required of us was the laws of God. All right, read, read on. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So he said, not, no, not only you going to discontinue from your heritage, but I'm going to cause you to serve thine enemies. Hold this sign up real quick. This one, this one right here. I'm just going to show you visually a few ways that we had to serve the enemy. All right? What's going on right here? Slavery, right? We had the uh, the yoke of uh, bondage around our neck. Uh, what you see uh, right here? You see auctions. Guess what? They didn't care about if you uh, if you had a daughter or a son. Guess what they was gonna do to make that money? 
sell your daughter or your son. You see what I'm saying? These are different ways that we had to serve our enemy, all right, because of our disobedience. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy, you can put it down. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Real quick, real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The voice is this Bible. All right, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. You hear that action right there? It says to uh, not only just to hear, but to do. You see what I'm saying? And that's where we failed. That's where we lacked it. Read. Which I commanded this day that all these. It said what? Which I commanded this day. Guess what? The laws of God still stand today, sis. The laws of God still stand today, bro. Matthew, Matthew 19. Matthew 19. Watch this. Watch it. Real quick. Matthew 19. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, what I want to leave y'all with this, all right? One came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Says, you want eternal life? Bro, you want eternal life? Because we understand that this all is going to... You said what? You got to serve God, right? But guess what? How do you serve him? It's going it's gonna, to it's gonna show you. It's going to show you. Watch this. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is no good but one. That is God. But if thou will enter into life, so guess what? You said you want eternal life. You said it as well. If you want eternal life, because we understand that one day all of this is gonna perish. You ain't gonna have to worry about pulling up and getting no gas from Malco. Why? Because it's gonna be gone. Everything gonna be gone. Read. Keep the commandments. It said what? Keep the commandments. So guess what? If you want that thing, you gotta keep the commandments. Guess what? It's already within us. It's within us. We just got to bring it out and serve God, as you said, sis. So, remember Deuteronomy 28 and 50. Say it again. Every day. Every day. So, remember Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, observe and to do. So, guess what? We have to do the commandments. Let me show you something. Deuteronomy 22. Deuteronomy. No, no, no. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. All praises, sis. See, this is of the Lord. Y'all want to go so badly, but y'all ain't going nowhere. The most I want y'all right here. So watch this. Now, remember we was just talking about if we want eternal life, we have to keep the commandments, right? Okay, so watch this. No, I won't. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Is that your husband? So, sis, let me ask you, because you know in Babylon, well, in, in America, you know, the, everything has been twisted up. Do you look at him as your head? Yes. He's your head, right? You let him guide the house? Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, no. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but see, hey, look, but... But everybody no, goes do different things. But see, exactly, that's why I noticed how I asked you, because I know that... Remember the scripture said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. You see what I'm saying? The men messed up. You know what I'm saying? The women messed up as well. But we working together. Once y'all come, uh, uh, you know, on one accord, everything will better work out. So keep on reading this. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, Pray, praying or prophesying, having his head covered, meaning have a hat on, a beanie on. Notice no men out here has that on. No men in purple that you see. All right, read. Dishonoring his head. You ever seen somebody like do the, like the Pledge of Allegiance or they about to pray or something that take off their head? Showing a sign of respect. You see what I'm saying? Or court, the courtroom. So that's a commandment. A lot of things, a lot of, pe a lot of people only think the commandments is just the big ten. No. no, no, it's commandments written throughout this Bible. You see what I'm saying? So read on. But every woman that prayed or prophesied, because you're a woman, you're a sister. Every woman that prayed or prophesied, read. With her head uncovered, uncovered as you see the men out here, read. Dishonored her head. So, real simple commandment. So, when you read the Bible, when you pray, 
All God asks you to do is cover your head, sis. Right. That's a simple commandment that'll get you eternal life right there. But that's not it, though. That's not it. That's just one step. Remember, you said it. Repent daily. So now you know something to take home with you. And I'm going to start applying this to my life. You see what I'm saying? Give me some uh, Sirach 25 and 1 real quick. Bring it out. Sirach 25 and 1 real quick. I want to show you and the brother in the truck. You and your husband. Watch this. Because marriage, understand, that's an honorable thing. That's an honorable thing to, to make a commitment with somebody that you say, I'm going to be with you until death do us part, right? That's an honorable thing. But watch this. It's going to be ups and downs in marriages. But you always, you always, unless that man is leading you into damnation, telling you to disobey God, you have to follow him. That's your head. He's the Lord of the house. All right? So watch this. Sirach chapter 25, verse 1. In three things I was beautified. God says, these three things that he's about to name, oh, he was beautified in. So watch this. And stood up beautiful both before God and man. The unity of brethren. The unity of brother. Guess what? When we get together and we act right, and it's not, it's not just a, 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 a playing dominoes and a whole shootout happen or, or a twice twerking and party. Nah, not that type of unity. That's not what he beautified in. He's talking about stuff like this, what you see right here. You see what I'm saying? When men can get together and come out and teach people his word. So that's one thing that he beautified in. Read on. The love of neighbors. The love of neighbors. It ain't no love no more. You know it was just a shooting happened last week. If, here. If men knew how to apply the scriptures. It wouldn't be no suit. It wouldn't be no fighting like that. Listen, men, listen. Men, so we so sensitive now. That's why it's so much shooting going on. You see what I'm saying? It's not, there's no love towards each other no more. Read on. A man and a wife. Hold on, wait. Y'all listening? It said, what's, what's the third thing? A man and a wife. Wife that agree together. He said a man and a wife that agree together. That's beautiful. You see what I'm saying? You supposed to guide her, bro. Yes, you the Lord of the house. But that don't mean you overrule. You be a lion in the house. You do things to mistreat. Not, I'm just speaking hypothetically. I'm, I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking hypothetically. But... Understand, bro, when you when you leading us, cause that's 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 a sister, that's a child of God as well. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta lead her in a direction to to uh to get her to the kingdom. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all said it earlier. I want eternal life. All right. Let me show you something, bro. Uh, cause that's First Corinthians three. First Corinthians. I ain't gonna let you slip with that. I seen you light up a cigarette. I seen you. I seen you light. I seen it. No, no, you, you're not perfect, you, but you can be. You, you can be. Like, like, watch this. What, I, what did I tell you? Uh, what did the scripture say to start applying when you're praying and prophesying? Having your head covered, right? That's small, right? Smoking cigarettes. You think that's a small thing? Do you, you, do you think you? Do you think you can stop? Yeah. You think you can stop? So what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to get you to understand is, you have to take it step by step. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. First Corinthians chapter three verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Bro, you the temple of God. You see what I'm saying? He he tearing it up, ain't it? You smoke? No, I don't. You be trying to get him to stop? Yeah. Hey, say, hey, that's something, listen, that's something righteous right there. You see what I'm saying? Because if she didn't care for your, your, your health, uh, you you stand around to raise up your grandkids. Then you say you got to go with your grandkids. How long do you think you're going to be around if you keep on smoking them cigarettes? You see what I'm saying? So some things we have to humble down and actually listen to our wife, bro. She, 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 she concerned about your health. She wants you to continue to stay around as long as possible. And guess what? Smoking them cigarettes is going to shorten your lifespan, bro. Read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelling in you. Guess what? 
Hey, bro. It said the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Now, under, now understand this. God is not an a, a unrighteous man. So you make it hard for him to dwell in you when you defile in the temple. You see what I'm saying? He don't want to be in that. Read on. If, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Don't take it lightly, bro. God will destroy you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.